Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is November 3rd, 2023, Friday. The theme of today's devotional is, This Will Be a Sign. The scripture is from Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, lived together she was found to be pregnant from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to divorce her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had, had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relationship with her until she had given birth to a son, and he named him Jesus. Amen. Another scripture is from Luke chapter 2, verse 12. They, uh, this, will be a, this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and laying in a manger. Amen. Today's story is from Barb, who lives in Australia. I have recently been diagnosed with a rare genetic disease that has severely affected affected my heart, and I am now in heart failure. I need monthly infusions in the hospital and often feel drained after these treatments. My busy lifestyle has been turned upside down. My future is uncertain, but it is in God's hands. Sometimes we may feel alone or vulnerable and in need of an extra sign of God's presence while re re reading my daily devotions one evening after my monthly infusion, I came across these words, Today, may you be infused with God's comfort and love. The following day, an amazing rainbow filled the skies around me. Surely, these were both signs of God's never-ending provision, peace, and comfort available to us all when we keep on our uh, when we keep our eyes and hearts open. We will see the signs of God with us every day. Amen. Amen. Do you see the signs of? Uh, God's presence in your life every day. God is with us. That's God's promise. Actually, God gives us the signs of God is with us every day, every moment. However, sometimes we don't see that. It is not because God didn't give us the God didn't give us God does not give us the sign. Rather, we close our eyes and don't want to see that, or don't find it even though it is there. God is faithful, and God loves us so much, and God promised Emmanuel, 
God is with us. So we can see the signs. Actually, whether we see the signs or not, God is with us. The truth is never changed because God is with us. That is God's promise and God, that is what God is doing. However, because when we, when we are in a little of faith, God wants us to help us, encourage us, and strengthen us. So God gives us signs, which is remarkable, which is not taxable uh, for us. However, don't worry. Even though, you, even though you don't find anything, any signs of God, you don't see any signs of God because God is still with, uh, be with you and God is still with you and God is still work, walking with you. And whenever you want to see the sign, just ask God. Through many things, God gives us signs. You know what? Jesus, the name, Emmanuel, it, it, it shows us and it is a sign for us. God is with us because Jesus' name, Emmanuel, means God is with us. Whenever you don't see any signs in your life, just say Jesus. Ask Jesus. Call Jesus. Because and also remember the name of Jesus, the meaning, uh, the name, uh, the meanings of Jesus' name, Emmanuel. God is with us. Church family, don't forget God loves us so much. And God never leave us. God is with us always. So God's presence is always with us. Rather than saying, I don't know where God is in my life. Try to see the signs that God gives us. It's not just one, a lot. And just remember the name of Jesus, Emmanuel. That means God is with us. I hope you and I live out our lives with that assurance and confidence. God always with us. Like the parents who are with them with their toddlers or babies. Like our uh, family are with us all the time. Our spouse, our uh, parents or uh, kids. As our friends are with us all the time. God is with us, and God gives us many signs. If you cannot see any signs of God, please read the Bible. There are a lot of signs of God's presence in our lives. Please pray when you cannot see any signs, because you will see the signs when, we, when we, you pray and when you have the fellowship with God. God is with us. Don't forget. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the assurance that you walk beside us every day. Help us to rely on you no matter what challenges we face because you are with us, because your presence is in us all the time, in our lives all the time. We give thanks and praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day and uh, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, we have a uh, baked potato di dinner. So please join us at 5 uh, in the fellowship poll. And Sunday, we have baptism and communion and we will observe All Saints Sunday. So it will be a busy Sunday, but please join us and let us celebrate All Saints Sunday and let us give our blessing to the uh, a young child i mean a toddler uh, for his bless on his blessing uh, on his baptism and also let us uh, celebrate jesus love and grace through the communion um i will take uh go on vacation next week uh from monday through uh sunday so i will i will not be uh here with you for the daily devotional but I will do my daily devotional and I want you to do your daily devotional by yourself through the upper room 
uh, or reading the Bible and having a time of meditation on the scripture and praying uh, to God. Let us uh, keep uh, doing the daily devotional for our spiritual growth and our relationship with God and the fellowship with God. Have a great day and thank you. Bye now.